Hello and welcome back to another episode of Toy Therapy. I'm the host of Toy Therapist, aka Matthew Grant, and today I'm finally getting to my Avengers Avenity War Captain America. I've had him for, I think he came out in about February, I think. <laughs> uh, I just haven't had a chance to even get around to him, but now as uh, Endgame has just been released on general release on this week, it got me thinking I need to do some Marvel reviews. So, without further ado, let's get around the box. So, I took him Captain America out ready, and, uh, and it was actually quite easy to get out. Quite a nice, no real sort of twist ties or anything like that, like these rubber ones, which I quite like. Uh, you get a really nice sort of painting of Chris Evans there in his gear. And you get a nice little artist impression again there. Uh, this is brought to you by a Gentle Giants, and uh, Gentle Giants has really been knocking out the park of lately, especially when they did the Hulk, the Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok, and I absolutely adore that. So, Anyway, let's get to the bit of the bio. So if you do want to press pause, you can. As uh, you can see, it's got to buy Giant or Giants. And you're getting a few more figures that's in the way as well. Spider-Man and you're getting Thor and Groot, which I do have. And I'll get to those in turn. But yes, very simple box, not a lot to it. But anyway, let's get to the figure. And as you can see, Captain America is outside the box and this figure does not there's a point. Uh, it does come with a quite a few bit of accessories. It comes with a very lovely brace. Well, not brace, base. Uh, it does come with some extra hands left and right. Altogether, you get an extra six hands altogether. <laughs> it's a nice little jumble there. Nice. Uh, let me just show you a bit of the quality so you can get a nice sort of closed fist, which is quite nicely painted. And you get an open hand as well. So you're getting, and you're getting quite arrangements there. There's not a lot. Uh, and you're going, you're getting ones there as well, which is just like almost like the two fingers a little bit open up and so on. But other than that, it's the same with all the hands. It does come with the the shields, and these do extend a bit. Uh, but I don't know why. I I don't get it. Uh, I would have thought it'd be better just to have something, but. So you can just fit them there. And they will stay in place. They will stay in place. I don't know why that was a thing. I don't think it works very well. I think that is a bit... A bit poor, maybe. I don't know. Um, but for my review, that could have been a lot better. I was a bit disappointed with that. A bit disappointed. And you get two of them as well. They are nicely paint, nicely painted, nicely sculpted, which is good. So other, uh, I'm not too bothered about those. This figure does come with a, a not too bad head sculpt of uh, and paint of Chris Evans. Uh, I don't know why. He's been a very hard person to to replicate, really. And I just try to there we go, that's a bit better. And I really think that is okay, it's not brilliant to be fair. It could have been a lot better. It's a bit of a shame. But there's one thing I do like though about it, okay, because you do get the the small shields there. And they do pop off quite easy as well, so Pop the hand off, and you can slide these out. And these are nicely done, to be fair. Very nicely done. Just showing you a bit more about the gimmick, and the hands are quite easy to pop off as well. And the... Hmm. Maybe I should do it this way, maybe. Put the... Uh the fists on there you go just pops on quite nicely and quite easily 
So I'm not even sure this is going to work properly, but see. And as well with those on there. So, yeah, I'm finding this to be a bit tricky, really, with the shields. I don't think they're all that, I don't think they're very well thought out, but. So if you do want to have them with the shields on, it does take a bit of a bit of effort, but there we go. And I thought they were black, not like a blue and grey, but I thought they were all shall just actual black. But hmm. and you can see there, there's a bit of detail on there, there's a bit of mist detail on here, which is a bit poor show, honestly. The paint application on those are different. A bit disappointed with that. That's not great. I mean, especially when you pay £25 for this. It's not great. But anyway, I'm going to take these off just for the review. I'm going to go back to the to the old ones because that's most probably how I'm going to have them applied. So let me just put that on there. And just, and just makes it easier for the review for me. But as you can see, the hands are really easy to pop on and off. There's no real issue there, which I think is really good. I mean, because compared to a lot of the hand joints, especially these, these can easily break. And these ones have been really nice and easy to pop on and off. Compared to my Jay and Sad Bob ones, uh, I found them to be a bit problematic, which has been a shame. But anyway, put him for a side for a moment. Let me just show you the base. Really nicely painted. Mine's got a little bit of bleed, which I don't really care about, but it's got a nice feel to it. It's got a very nice feel, and it is nicely done. Nice and basic. I like a good base, as people know. But anyway, so going back to Steve... Steve Rogers. Like I said, I'm not really overly pressed with the plate application on him there. Uh, I think the head the sculpt isn't that great. But he is a hard person to do. Uh, I mean, if you think about it with the Star Wars characters, with Hasbro, um, they'd be doing really good figures. And, and at the moment, I'm really thinking about swapping my Marvel Legends for Selects. At the moment, I have been thinking about doing that. But I committed, so I might as well carry on with it. But I am going to look around again, extra a different head and get that put on, I think, because I really think the head on that is... I think the hair is great. The, the sculpt is good, but I think the paint finish is a bit too thick. Look like he's wearing too much makeup. But anyway, let's get around to the figure. So the rest of the, the rest of the the paint application, the damage there, very well done. Looks sublime, it really does. The paint application on on the suit there on the back, no real issues there, no real issues. And look at that American ass as well. <laughs> but anyway, it's really nicely put together, really nicely painted, and even down to the boots. Absolutely brilliant. Mine's got a bit of paint bleed there. Um, I don't think that's meant to be there, but I'm going to let that slide. But as a whole, when it comes to paint application, it is absolutely spot on. Really impressed with it. Really impressed with the mould. But anyway, let's get to the articulation. So you get a nice all the way around head swivel. Same with the old uh, elbow. You're getting the old joints there, which is really good. And the elbow with the padding, as you can see there, absolutely great. Same with this arm, all the way around. And you're getting a nice bit of bicep swivel, same on both arms. And you're getting a really good elbow joint again as well. So I'm very impressed with those elbow joints. Elbow joints, very impressed. So that's that done there. You're getting a really nice bit of a, a basic gut crunch. 
and you're getting a swivel as well. A bit stiff on your swivel, but you have got a swivel. You're getting yourself your leg movements there, which is just great. And you're getting, oh God, that's a bit stiff. I'm gonna have to sort that out with a hairdryer, I think. Let's see on the other leg, so there we go. You're getting that there, but my one's really stiff on here. Oh, I don't wanna force it, but I, oh God, that is hard. That is so that's not gonna go anywhere, but I am gonna have a look with putting some sort of hairdryer and softening it up. You're getting a really good knee joint. I love that knee joint with the, uh, the pattern. It just works so well. And same with this one as well. No real danger issues there. Really nicely put together. Very impressed with that. You're getting a nice little uh, tilt on the ankle and a bit of up and down movement and same with that as well. So in all, he's got quite a range of movements. And I'm actually impressed. Shame about that head. I am going to look into on eBay and see if he's been uh, repainting them or, or uh, remolding them. And then I'm going to get that updated. Because that face has really let it down for me. Dramatically. But anyway, apart from this figure, uh, I, I just want to show you as well another figure which I got for the post today. Uh, I did manage to get myself uh, Peggy Carter from the the double pack and I got her as well and I always like putting my women up against my men and to be honest though it I this is the reason why I collect Marvel Legends and Marvel Selects okay I get a bit of a mixture of the two I always get the men in that whenever I can and and vice versa uh, only lately they haven't really produced all the figures I wanted in the, in in the Marvel Select in the Marvel Select. So I had to go further afield with, for example, Yondao um, from Thor. Uh, he's getting a a release from uh, from from Thor Ragnarok. So I've got that. I've got myself Thor Ragnarok, um, Grandmaster, and Guys of the Galaxy, the Collector to review the Marvel Legends. So I do sort of put together a bit of a bit of a both. A bit of a mix, but I think when it comes to when it comes to it as well, when it comes to scaling, I really do think the Marvel Legends, especially the women, do work really well with those. So I'm quite impressed and quite pleased with the old mixture there. So, but anyway, let me go look, look, look around of Peggy Carter. So, so he comes with a a Thompson. And you'll remember as well, she fired the Thompson in the first Avenger. Um, only ever so slightly, but but mainly saw you with a pistol. And she comes in her uniform. Quite a good range of movements. Head goes all the way around. And that head sculpt is... Isn't not bad. I, I see a little bit better than this, but... Just look compared to the face tone on there as well. I mean, compared to moulded plastic... And to paint, it's a bit of a difference there. Um, the articulation is not too bad, uh, all the way around there, and you get a little bit of a play there, and you get a little bit of play on the old wrist as well. Same with this arm as well. Uh, she is quite restricted with the skirt because it is very thick plastic. Um, and when it comes to the paint application as well, it's even got the old nylon stocking as well. Lines, I thought that was a really good touch. Extremely good touch. And she has got a good range of movements in the old legs, but but she is going to be hindered by this. And the shoes are nicely painted as well, nice and basic. But overall, as a figure, I actually prefer this figure than to that figure. <laughs> but when it comes to the, the sculpting of that, he is phenomenal. I might have to darken him up a bit more. I might have to darken a bit more or, and like I said I am going to look around for a a new head for him uh, the things I'm quite dis, displeased with it's like I said it's those shields that's got more application than that it's just I'm going to have to sort that out as you're going to say I'm really going to have to sort that out a lot more definition. I think this one here, it just looks bigger. I just don't know. I really don't get it. 
there we go put the clip in a bit more that's what it was but yeah so i'm gonna do a little bit more detailing on there white what back black wash it as well am i even actually gonna repaint the whole shield as a figure i would give it it is pretty good they've done a good job on the sculpting on the body the good chopping on the head the only thing they've, they've really sort of failed with is the paint applications on the head and the shields. Everything else is really good and very pleased with. I can't wait to put in my collection. I can't wait to get my cabinets up here so I can start displaying more of my figures. But until then, at the moment, he's going to go back in the box. I'm going to do another Marvel Legends, not Marvel Legends, Marvel Select review and mix that with my Black Series figures as well because I've got a few of those i got to get through. And maybe I might even start doing some Transformer reviews at some point. Um, I'm a bit scared of doing Transformer reviews because there's so many people doing Transformer re reviews out there. Um, I'm a bit scared about doing that. I'm not trying to jump into that market too much, but I'm just going to do the odd figure or two, the ones that really sort of speak to me. But anyway, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like, share, subscribe. Links are around. Um, and thank you again, once again for watching. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.